Well, hello guys. I'm Nigai Hakim Oliveros Acosta, and welcome to NJ Studio, where I will be reviewing a product called the Tiffin Close Up Lens Kit. Let's check it out. Let's start unboxing this product. Kind of looks like the Audi logo. <laughs> As you can see, it comes with a kit of three different close-up lenses, a plus one diopter, and if you're wondering why I said diopter, Close-up lenses are basically just diopters. The plus one diopter, the plus two diopter, and the plus four diopter. From what I've seen, these lenses are not that expensive. They cost around 50 bucks to 60 bucks. I don't remember very well. You can check these out on Amazon or B&H Photo and Video. Now, the reason why I bought these lenses is that when you use an anamorphic lens, such as this one, the Moment Anamorphic Lens, which I have, when you use it with these lenses, it will give you an anamorphic shallow depth of field. It will give you that oval bokeh promoting moment here, guys. You don't have to use this lens in a specific. You can buy the Moondog anamorphic lens or the Beast Grip anamorphic lens. I don't know if they released it yet. Now, if you want to attach these diopters to the lens, you're going to need to have or buy a filter mount like this one, the moment 62 millimeter filter mount. It comes with the, the anamorphic lens mount. Oh, it's not here. There we go. It comes with the moment anamorphic lens mount, the anamorphic color, they call it. And it comes with the ring that you attach here. There you go and you attach it to the lens. I'm not gonna, not gonna attach it now, but look, let me show you like an idea. You don't need to buy or have this filter mount in a specific. If you're using, for example, the Moondog anamorphic lens, I think they sell a filter mount. You're gonna have to buy or have their filter mount, oops, for you to use these lenses. And this is very important. I want you guys to know this. I bought the Tiffin 62 millimeter close-up lenses in a specific. They sell these lenses not only in 62 millimeters, but in other millimeters such as 50 millimeters, I'm not sure. The reason why I bought the Tiffin 62 millimeter close-up lenses it's because this filter mount that Moment made is 62 millimeters. And these lenses will fit perfectly in this filter mount because it's 62 millimeters. So you're gonna have to pay attention to the millimeters of the close up lenses and of your filter mount for them to fit. That's very important. Millimeters. Read it, pay attention to it. That was kind of rude. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you test footage that I made using this anamorphic lens by Moment. Obviously, the Tiffin close up lenses, which I'm reviewing today. And, wait a second, I don't have it here. I'm going to go look for it. And this baby. Promoting Gobe, people. Gobe, if you're watching this, uh, I'm honored. <laughs> Go 62 millimeter variable ND filter. I'm gonna open it to show you how 
the filter looks. There we go. Jeez, I have a mess here. Comes with a cleaning cloth. This is the filter I'm talking about. I use this filter because there was sunlight and if I didn't use this, it will overexpose my image. So yeah, I was recording outside. They say that these filters, the ND filters, act like sunglasses for your camera. Variable ND filters let you control the intensity and whatnot. Now, here's the test footage. Oh guys, I forgot. <laughs> you can stack these lenses on top of one another. Like you can do this. Yeah, we look at that. And also what I found out after buying these lenses is that I could stack the ND filter to the lens. The only thing is that it's not, I don't know how, how it attaches, but I don't know, man. I, I just found, I just found out, <laughs> but yeah, just to let you know, this is what I did when I shot the test footage. Let's check out the test footage.
So that's all for today, unfortunately. Thank you so much for watching the video. It really means a lot. So, bye.